Project Search and Replace allows you to work faster by searching and replacing across your project. You can search for text, numerical data, objects, and more. Before we get into the details of the plugin, let's go through a quick example. I'm trying to decide which font I'd like to use for my UI. Let's swap out the font with a new one. I've set the scope field to current scene and created a search for all objects. Looking at the text in my UI, I'm using the FFPX font. Let's swap that out with 8-bit wonder. Looks pretty good, but the font is very large in comparison. Let's change the font size to be smaller. Looks like the font size is 34. Let's try 30. Hmm, 30 is still a bit big. Let's bring it down to 24. There we go, much better. First we'll go to Window and choose Search and Replace to open the window, then dock it to the interface. Next we'll do a simple text search across all objects. Click the Search For dropdown and choose All Objects to create a search item. Then type the text you are interested in searching for and click Search. The search results show up below. You can click on the Results Go To button to open the result in the inspector. To remove a search item, click the minus button. I've decided that I want to change the text wave in my level names to be level. To do this, I want to search the level name property of the CR level mono behavior. First, I will create a search item to search for a specific property. An empty search item is displayed. In order to search the CR level mono behavior, I click on a prefab that uses it, anyone will do, and drag it into the search items field. The level name property, the one I want to search, is already selected in the drop-down below. Next I type WAVE and click the options toggle to display more search criteria. By checking the CONTAINS checkbox, I can search for the text WAVE inside the text instead of an exact match. The tool finds three occurrences in three prefabs. Now I will switch the search type drop-down to search and replace mode. I can now replace WAVE with LEVEL by typing LEVEL in the replace field and clicking search and replace. The properties have now all been updated to say level instead of wave. Project Search and Replace can search and replace inside many different types of objects, including prefabs, scenes, materials, and other built-in components. This search illustrates searching for usage of the material called piece across the project, finding 20 results. One of the more useful options is to search specific locations or asset types. In this example, I will search for all usages of a specific prefab in a specific folder. I want to swap out the usage of the prefab pawn for a new prefab pawn guy. I will also search just the squares property of the CR wave mono behavior. I choose specific location in the scope field and drag the folder I want to search into the location field. I also only want to search prefabs. The asset type selector allows me to choose what types of items I want to search, and so I deselect all other asset types. I create a search item to search the squares property of the CR wave mono behavior, and change my search items type to object. I then drag the specific object instance I want to search for. A quick test search yields 7 results across all the prefabs in the folder. Now I want to replace these values with my new prefab pawn guy. I drag the object over into the Replace field. After clicking Search and Replace, all instances have been converted over. Folders are not the only locations that can be searched. It is also possible to search objects within a scene, or specific prefabs, mono behaviors, and more. I've decided that I want to change the Wave 1 prefab to use Pawn instead of Pawn Guy. I simply drag Wave 1 into the Search Scope field, then I search for Pawn Guy and replace with Pawn. Some data types have additional custom options. Vector3, for example, lets you selectively search for x, y, and z values. In this scene, it looks like someone was a little sloppy with their y values, creating an uneven level. Let's clean this up. 
When the scope is set to Current Selection, whatever objects are currently selected in the Hierarchy or Project tab will be searched. I will then create a search item for the Transform property and search the Local Position value. By clicking the Options toggle, I can search just the position's x value for negative 5, which I know all the broken objects to have. You can see in the search results that the y values vary between objects. Let's set them all to 0. In the Replace field, I uncheck the x and z values, which I want to remain untouched. When I replace, you can see that the objects within the scene are now aligned as expected. These are just some of the uses of the Project Search and Replace tool. The tool is available for purchase in the Unity Assets Store. For more information, check out the comments below. Thank you for watching.